It's time for Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather, sponsored by Scooter's Coffee. Here's your host, meteorologist Abby Dyer. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to your Monday, October 9th. Uh, we are waking up nice and cool here in the Ozarks this morning. We've got temperatures generally in the upper 40s, so maybe jacket weather early on. Uh, and then I think later on we'll be able to shed some of those layers because temperatures will be in the upper 60s and low 70s. It's a beautiful fall day I have on tap for you to kick off this new work week. Nothing but sunshine in the forecast today. High pressure will be in control of our weather pattern. So we start the new work week on a sunny note. Also, temperatures really close to average for this time of year. We had a nice fall-like weekend in the Ozarks. I hope everyone uh, had a chance to enjoy the cooler weather. Definitely a change though. I mean, you had to dress a little bit differently. The breeze out there is certainly making it feel chilly. And of course, some of the additional cloud cover in the forecast over the weekend, allowing it to be kind of chilly too. Uh, today, a little bit warmer than the weekend. I've got temperatures back into the upper 60s and low 70s. We also lower the winds a little bit. So that's going to make a difference in how chilly it feels outside. Our wind today is still out of the Northwest, but it's only at about eight miles an hour. So it's calming down pretty significantly compared to yesterday. We do have the sunshine out in the forecast though today, and I have a high temperature in the upper 60s. I'm going 68 degrees for Springfield today. There will be folks that make it closer to 70, and I think we stay there through the course of the afternoon. So it's a very comfortable day that I have for you in the forecast. I already mentioned high pressure is in control. That cold front now well south of the area, and we are staying dry not only for the Midwest, but also for the Upper Plains and all the activity is going to stay out on the West Coast and much of the Northwest getting a very active weather pattern. Also parts of the Ohio River Valley seeing some activity along that same frontal boundary as low pressure has developed in that area. Rain chances are in the forecast this week. If you're looking at the new work week and trying to plan things out, it's really the middle of the work week that I have rain chances returning. The best chance for rain this week is going to come late in the day on Thursday into Thursday night. I also have a small chance though for you on Wednesday and then again on Friday, but the chances are really looking best as we head closer to Thursday night. So maybe plan your mowing around that. Uh, and we have temperatures that are going to be really pretty warm in the forecast on Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday. Highs are going to be back into the 80s, both of those days in a few spots. So it will be looking a little bit warmer. Uh, and then Thursday night, we have another frontal boundary coming through. That's going to give us the best chance for rain. It's also going to knock our temperatures down again for next weekend. Next weekend, looking very fall-like in terms of temperatures as well. In fact, much like this last Saturday, we may have another Saturday with highs in the 50s across the Ozarks. That's what models are indicating as we head into next weekend. So if you're already planning out your uh, pumpkin patch visits, plan uh, the outfits for some fall-like weather. The forecast today, 68 degrees, sunshine, northwest breeze around 8 miles an hour, no chance for rain in the forecast today. I have a staying dry and it's going to be a pretty nice one. If you want to get out and enjoy, I've seen a lot of folks out enjoying their evening walks in weather like this. It is just fantastic, uh, except for the allergies in the air. So be cautious of that. If you are an allergy sufferer, I have a staying dry and sunny in the forecast on Tuesday as well. Cloud cover starts to return on Wednesday. I insert a chance for rain as early as Wednesday evening. I think the best chance for rain this week arrives late in the day on Thursday into Thursday night. Then we are talking about temperatures cooling off again for the weekend with highs back into the 60s on Friday. We may have some morning rain showers around on Friday before that system clears up and gets out of here once again, just in time for the weekend. Speaking of weekends, over the weekend, you may have heard some of the weather headlines across the country. It was a record-breaking weekend for Lake Erie. There were more than 180 water spout sightings on Lake Erie. Now, uh, if you don't know the difference between a water spout and a tornado, well, the structure is essentially the same. However, uh, these occur over water, so there's no uh, cloud that is really kind of the parent cloud of the system. So oftentimes, they do not cause any issues for us folks on land. That was the case in Lake Erie this weekend, but several sightings in Ohio and in Pennsylvania and uh, more water spouts possible up in the Great Lakes area as a powerful frontal boundary and a cooler weather system is moving through while the water temperatures are still warm. And it's that difference in temperature that is fueling some of the water spout sightings up there. 
Colder and wetter weather is in the forecast then for the West Coast today. Talking about some showers. Uh, folks on the West Coast, I always think it's fall. I always see people like in California being like, it's the fall season. It rained here today. And uh, our temperatures varied by five degrees. So they are looking at a more uh, active pattern as we head into the new work week. And then there's also going to be this potential for increased rainfall and maybe even some flash flooding for the Texas Gulf Coast today, potentially some tropical moisture uh, going to interact with a front down there. So maybe too much rain too quickly down on the Gulf Coast of Texas. That's looking like it will hit by Tuesday. So something to look out for tomorrow in the forecast if you have friends or family in that area. All right, it is time for the wake up weather brain twister question this morning, sponsored by Scooter's Coffee. Here's your chance to win 20 bucks. If you answered the quiz question from last week, I'm going to show it to you here again. What is the most popular dog name of 2023? This is according to the American Kennel Club. And the options that I left you with were Bella, Daisy, or Luna. And if you logged on to aroundtheozarks.com, entered your guess, and you guessed C, Luna, you are correct. And you have been entered uh, into a pool to win a $20 gift card to Scooters. I know a lot of Lunas, uh, people and animals, by the way. Uh, it is the number one dog name of 2023. I know a couple dogs. I also know a couple people. And Luna, of course, is the feminine given name for moon. It has a Latin origin. Uh, in Roman mythology, Luna was the divine personification of the moon. Uh, the name has risen in popularity in recent years for both dogs and people, in part due to its use uh, for a character in the Harry Potter series. So you may have heard of it there. And uh, that is kind of what put it on my radar. I hadn't heard it a lot before. And now I hear Luna all the time. Um, so there you go. It is C. Here's another chance, a uh, next chance to win a $20 gift card to Scooter's Coffee. If you think you know this one, log on to aroundtheozarks.com. Enter your guests. We'll take your name and your email. And uh, it's pretty much the best way to win 20 bucks uh, and get coffee early this uh, week sometime. Which Halloween character is based on a historical prince? Do you think it is A, Dracula, B, Frankenstein's monster, C, Jack Skellington, or D, Edward Scissorhands. Again, which of these Halloween characters is based on a historical prince? If you think you know, go take your guess. Or even if you don't know, take a stab at it. Uh, one in four chance here. And uh, what could be better than 20 bucks? coffee on us. Thank you so much, Scooters. All right. If you want more information on your weather forecast up to the minute, make sure you check out the website. Uh, also, thank you for listening this morning. And if you'd like to make sure you subscribe wherever you get your podcasts, you can listen to wake up weather every day as we're heading out the door. And I will have you covered with all the details that you need to know. I will chat with you again tomorrow morning.